good morning friends now we are going to discuss a topic is game theory it's a very interesting one a competitive situation is called a game a game is involving n players is called n person game but in general uh, to play a game minimum of we need two persons this is a very important definition in this chapter two person zero sum game here the topic is all very clear two person zero sum game the algebraic sum of gains and losses of all the players is zero in a game then such a game is called zero sum game for example you take two players player a and player b suppose player a score is 0 player b is score is 5 by seeing this number we can judge who is win the match player b is win the match but player a is what 0 but actually player a is not 0 he is loses the 5 that same is gaining what he is losing the same point he is gaining that's the reason the algebraic sum of gains and losses of the two player comes zero then you can say that such game is two person zero sum game rectangular game zero sum games with two players are called rectangular game if you are going to see that in a game the problem in generally they are going to represent in the form of the bank. what like this one this is called a matrices form okay pay of matrix pay of matrix the gains resulting from a two person zero sum game can be represented in the form of matrix this is that if you are going to represent the form of matrix that matrix only you can say as a what pay of matrix so <coughs> next one is in general uh, game can be solved in two initially with the saddle point without saddle point so i will explain what is saddle point what is uh, not saddle point that explain what later the continuation of the game initially we will discuss that before going to solve the problem strategy strategy is very important by using this only we can solve the problem in game theory so the strategy can be classified into two types one is pure strategy and another one is mixed strategy so what is pure strategy sir is nothing here max min equal to min max by using these conditions we can solve the problem i mean find the saddle point such cases you can solve pure strategies problem if it is not satisfy the condition max min is not equal to min max this condition is not satisfied such types of problem is called mixed strategy strategy of the player is not known we have to define the strategy if it is comes like this you can say it is a what mixed strategy problem the strategy of the player is very clear if it is comes if it is satisfies this condition such conditions satisfies you can say it is called what pure strategy next very 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 important definition in game theory is this one saddle point position in the pay of matrix where maximum of row minima coincides remember this word coincides with the minimum of column maxima here it's very clear position only where it where it lies in the matrices that position if you are going to find that position only you can say it is a what saddle point okay that position you are going to find by using this condition only maximum of row minima coincides with the minimum of column maxima if it is comes like this that position in the matrices you can represent as a what the name of saddle point i will explain the saddle point through the examples and maximum of maximum value of the game maxi min maxi min do remember that maxi min value of the game is denoted by v lower bar and mini max value of the game denoted by v upper bar 
fair another one important definition in general when you're going to write the exams or a net exam or tnpsc or a trb the maximum questions will come from this part saddle what define the saddle point what is saddle point of the given game whether the game is fair or not the game is strictly determinable or not this kind of questions will come because this is easiest question and also we can solve it fast so what is fair when you're going to find the value of v lower bar v upper bar that is maximum value min max value comes zero the result comes zero the same is what value of the game if the value of the game comes zero the game is said to be fair so what is v lower bar maximum value what is v upper bar minimum max value at the time of finding these two values v lower bar and v upper bar comes zero the same one we are going to say as a what value of the game the value of the game comes zero you can say such game is said to be fair strictly determinable when the game is strictly determinable they will give the question like this only in any game they will check they will ask check whether the game is fair or not the game is strictly determinable or not so at the time of finding the value of the game comes zero is said to be what fair at the same time the value of the game comes not equal to zero it may have any value but not zero if it is comes you can say that strictly determinable in generally in what basis we can determine that game result by seeing this some value other than zero if it is comes only we can determine is a win the match or b win the match like that only we can determine so for that we need some value by seeing the data only you can determine the reason at the time of finding the v upper bar and v lower bar that should not be zero at the same time the same one only we can represent the what value of the game that one also what not to be zero this this is the definition you can write in a single line v lower bar equal to v that is equal to what v upper bar that is maximum equal to value of the game equal to minimax this is only one line condition you can say the one line definition only you can say so what the game is strictly determinable the difference between the fair and the strictly determinable is only one fair the value of the game is v equal to zero and strictly determinable the value of the game should not be zero so <coughs> will i will see, i will explain these things through some examples of first question solve the game see that in this first one is games with saddle point i told you we can classify the problem initially with the saddle point without saddle point now initially we are going to see the problems games with saddle point can you remember what is saddle point the maximum maximum of row minima coincides with the minimum of column maxima that position saddle point if saddle point exists in any games the result is very easy so we can find the solution easily so that's the reason first we are going to check that what saddle point exists saddle point problem saddle point existing problem so now i will explain the problem so <coughs> maximum of row minima first you are going to find that minimum value what is the minimum value in this first row we have the 393180 maximum of row minima minimum value first we find among this minimum value is what in the second row minimum value is what 4 in this third row minimum value is what 2 here 56221 minimum value is what 1 so we have to find maximum of row minima maximum of row minima first you are going to find that each row minimum from that you are going to find the what maximum this is called maximin so what is maximum among that four similarly you are going to find when you are going to do that in the column wise first you are going to find maximum value in each row what is maximum value in this row 9 6 2 1 2 from the first column the maximum value is what 9 similarly coming to the second column the maximum value is what 6 the third column maximum value is what 4 the fourth column maximum value is what 8 and the fifth column maximum value is what 8 so now after finding the maximum value from this we are going to find what minimum it is called minimax here maximin so now if you are going to find this minimum from this we are going to find the what minimum what is minimum here the 4 is a minimum here here the what from this maximum we are getting is what 4 this is called v lower bar this is called 
v upper bar now here the v lower bar equal to also 4 v upper bar equal to 4 now you may have the doubt sir in this matrices the payoff matrices here also the 4 is comes here also 4 is comes sir we have to find out that saddle point so by seeing the saddle point only we can say that what is the value of the gain see here in the second row this 4 is reflecting in the result okay and in the third row this 4 is not reflecting in the result only 2 is reflecting at the same of seeing the column is also this 4 is not reflecting in the what results what we are finding but this 4 only is what reflecting so this 4 in only is reflecting both the places in row result at the same of what column result so the position where it lies in this given payoff matrix this position only you can say as a what saddle point which 4 is reflecting in both the ways that 4 only you can consider here also 4 is there we can't say that this is nowhere reflecting in the result what we find the minimax or maximum only this 4 is reflecting do remember you may have the two fours don't come to the conclusion by seeing the number of 4 in this saddle point means the result to get the result which 4 is re reflecting in maximin at the same time was minimax in both the ways which 4 is reflecting that position only you can say that what saddle point so what is saddle point saddle point saddle point is a to b3 second row third column a to what b3 this is only you can say is what saddle point in this position what value lies that value only you can say the what game value therefore that game value equal that where game value you can represent the what v equal to 4 so if saddle point exists if this two satisfies what it is maximin equal to minimax if it is satisfies this condition uh, that where it lies in the payoff matrix that number here we found that number is what 4 where it lies in the payoff matrix that position only you can say as what saddle point saddle point what value lies in that position that value only you can say is a what game value so v lower bar equal to v upper bar the same as a what v so the game value you can find if it is saddle point exists very easy to find the saddle point of any gain if it is very big matrix here we have what 4 cross 5 they may give any 10 cross 10 also we can find very easy if saddle point exists if you are very clear the definition of the saddle point finding a result of the game will be very easy to us so i'll give that you can say it is a method one i'll ex i will explain the same one by another example you can consider this a what method one i'll explain that the same problem in another method which method is easy to you that method you can consider to find the what game value so i will take the same problem the problem is given is what 9 3 1 8 0 and 6 5 4 6 7 2 4 3 3 8 5 6 2 2 1 see if saddle point is exist you can find by seeing this procedure otherwise we can use this method so now in this place row minimum see here row minimum you can put circle column maximum you can put the what square where that circle and the square comes together that position only you can say as a what saddle point do you remember in method 2 i'll give a short route to find the saddle point row min you can represent as a what circle column max you can represent a what square where the square and the circle comes together coincides in this matrix you can see you can say that position is a what saddle point what value lies in the saddle point that you can say as a what game value so now here if you're going to see here what is row minimum in this 
what is a row minimum i told you row minimum we are going to put a what circle this is a row minimum in this column in this row what is minimum 4 is a minimum here what is minimum 2 is a minimum here what is minimum 1 is a minimum i told you row min you are putting a what circle column max we are putting a what square what is maximum in this column 9 what is maximum in this column 6 what is maximum in this column 4 what is maximum in this column 8 what is maximum in this column 8 see here here in this place only circle and the square comes together coincides this position only you can say as a what saddle point second row third column so for that saddle point of the game saddle point is what a2 b3 what is lies this what value lies in this that is what game value v equal to 4 so you can use any one of the method both the method will give the same result if you feel this is easy you can use this otherwise if you feel this is this is very easy it takes less time to find the saddle point and the game value row min circle column row min circle column max we are putting what square this two comes together that position is a saddle point that lies inside value that value only you can say is a what saddle point now second example to find the saddle point here the second problem the question is solve the game whose payoff matrix is given below the given the matrix this is see the here they represent the form of matrices this only you can say as a what payoff matrix resulting of the game represent the form of matrix it's a payoff matrix also check it's a fair the question is it's a fair it's a strictly determinable so we are going to check fair or both strictly determinable to find that first you are going to find what saddle point saddle point existing or not i told you very clearly what is saddle point so now you are going to find that what row minimum what is row minimum in this here row minimum is what two places one one row minimum here row minimum what is row minimum here tell me what is row minimum minus 4 here what is row minimum 1 5 1 row minimum column maximum see here row minimum put what circle column max put what square so now column maximum what is column maximum this is also maximum this is also maximum and what is column maximum here this also what max this is a 5 is a max what is column maximum here this one is a maximum now what is saddle point in this places two saddle point existing so there is no rule at all one problem should have only one saddle point more than one saddle point also may come but the value of the game must be same value of the game will not differ saddle point may come more than one do remember so you don't get confusion sir you, uh, only one saddle point will come for uh, each game no not not like that one game may have more than one saddle point but you should have only one value okay see here what is saddle point of the game if you are going to see here saddle point of the game is what saddle points more than one we have a1 b1 a1 b1 r you can see, consider any one and what a1 b2 a1 b3 this is a1 b3 so we have two saddle point but in two places circle and square circle and square comes together but the value of what both the places same therefore the value of the game v equal to 1 what value lies inside that that value only you can say is what game value so game value is what one so it's very easy to find the saddle point if you are going to follow the second method and in the question the continuation is game is fair game is fair means at the time of finding the value 
value of the game if v is equal to 0 comes what fair the game is not fair but what it is not equal to 0 if v value is what 1 if comes 0 only you can say is a what fair here the game is fair no we are getting the game value equal to 1 therefore the game is the given game is what not fair what is the definition of the fair can you remember the value of the game comes 0 only you can say it's a fair but the value of game comes what 1 therefore the game is not fair the game is strictly determinable can you remember the definition of strictly determinable if the value of the game is not 0 it may have any value but here value of the game is what 1 therefore we can say that the game is strictly determinable determinable you can determine because we are having a what other than zero so that the game is equal to one v is not equal to zero the game is not fair the value of the game is one okay therefore the game is strictly determinable do you remember fair means what can you remember the definition of fair fair means what v equal to zero comes only you can say so what fair then strictly strictly determinable what v is what not equal to zero this two def this is the condition but here v value is what zero comes only fair but v is equal to what one therefore the game is not fair v is not equal to zero this game is strictly determinable yes v value is what one therefore the game is strictly determinable this is the second example and the continuation of that the same game problem with the saddle point see here here also i will take this i will take the same exam i mean the, uh, different example the question is the same find the value of the game and also determine the game is fair the game is strictly determinable to determine these two conditions first we are going to find the value okay after finding the value you can say that the game is determinable or not to find the value first you are going to find the what v upper bar and v lower bar or you can go for what square and circle i given a clue to you here row min you are going to use what circle column max you are going to what put a what box now here what is a row minimum one what is row minimum here four what is row minimum three zero zero what is column max here what seven in this column max is what 7 here in this column max what 4 here it is what is column max 5 now here by seeing this you can say that what is saddle point saddle point means square and zero coincide eyes comes together that position you can say it's a what saddle point therefore that the saddle point saddle point of the given problem is what a to b3 second row third column this is saddle point what is game value the game value v equal to 4 well the game is fair see here we are getting 0 no we are getting non zero the value of the game is 1 4 therefore the game is game is not fair the game is strictly determinable yes the game is the game is what strictly determinable because the value of the game is what not equal to zero so the game is strictly determinable the game is not fair Fair condition means when the game comes 0, you can say the game is fair. But we are having a value of is what? 4. Therefore, the game is not fair. At the same time, the game is strictly determinable. <coughs> now, so far we had we had seen many problems that comes under the topic of what? With the saddle point. Now, we are going to discuss a topic is games without saddle point. Game without the saddle point. And without saddle point comes always mixed strategy cases. Games without saddle points 
that comes always mixed strategy so what is mixed strategies are i explained that uh, for a few minutes back so mi mixed strategy means it is not satisfying the condition of maximin maxi min is not equal to min max when the condition is not satisfied you can say the given problem comes under what mixed strategy now we are going to see the problem is games without saddle point in particularly it comes the order of 2 cross 2 so sir if it is more than the, this order comes what we have to do sir i will explain later now we are going to start with the small matrix 2 cross 2 2 cross 2 games without saddle point now to solve the, the game without saddle point in 2 cross 2 i will generalize first i will explain the generalized cases because in the mixed strategy cases we are going to find the strategy of the, the given player at the same time and the value of the game also both we have to find so before going to find out the value of the game we have to determine the strategy of the given player so here the given player in the a is what a1 a2 b1 b2 here uh, we are going to find the strategy here i given generalized format 2 cross 2 it is in the form of what 2 cross 2 in the same way in the place of a b c d they may give some number if any number comes we can solve before going to solve that we will discuss that the generalized case then we will discuss about the particular case in the place of a b c d here p1 in general it is a probability so now they give some value by using that only we are going to determine that the game value and the strategy everything so you are very clear what is the maximum value of the game maximum value of the probability what one so now here we are going to find the value of p1 p1 is d minus c divided by cross addition a plus d minus b plus c do remember that to find the value of p1 d minus c d minus c divided by cross addition a plus d minus b plus c here strategy of the play, strategy of the players player a we are going to find that p1 p2 both we are going to find so now in this case p1 only we can find by using this simplification by using this only we can find the p2 so in general p1 plus p2 is what one maximum value of probability is what one that's the reason after finding the value of p1 from this we can easily find the remaining p2 p2 is equal to 1 minus p1 similarly we are going to find that q1 q1 is d minus b if previous is what d minus c here d minus b in all the cases denominator will be the same denominator is a cross addition a plus d minus b plus c so through this you can find the value of q1 and also you are going to find the q2 we are going to use this q1 value here also q1 plus q2 is always 1 because the maximum value of probability is what 1 after finding the q1 just you are going to what find the q2 like that you can write q2 equal to 1 minus q1 through that you can find the value of q2 after finding the value of p1 p2 and q1 q2 you can find that you can write the strategy of the given players here the strategy you can write like this only strategy of a strategy of a i mean that player a p1 comma p2 the value of the p1 and the value of the p2 that you can represent the what strategy of the player optimum strategy of the players similarly the strategy of b q1 comma q2 the mixed strategy cases comes if saddle point is not exist we are going to determine that we are going to find the strategy of the players that's very important in pure strategy cases we are not going to determine the strategy strategy is very clear we are we are very clear about the what each player strategy the reason you can find the result easily but in mixed strategy strategy also we are going to find through that only we can find the value of the game so after finding the strategies you can find the value of the game the value of the game in all the cases p1 p2 and finding the value of the game denominator, denominator cases is always same cross addition a plus d minus b plus c numerator is cross multiply denominator is addition numerator is multiply so you can remember always this very important formula to find the value of the game if 2 cross 2 comes so in these cases only most of the problem will come 
for competitive exams trb or tnpsc or csr or net exam if you are going to write from the chapter of the game you can find minimum of two questions from this chapter game from the two one questions comes from the two class two game without saddle point is a very 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 important point important one because one question one compulsory question comes from this chapter two class two without saddle point so to discuss this you should remember this line alone more important one to find the value of the game numerator is cross multiply ad minus bc divided by a plus d minus bc so if you are very clear this you can attend minimum one question in any exam comes under the topic of or in the chapter game theory so it's a very important one so i'll explain this one through some small examples <coughs> find the value of the game so if, if this comes you can check the saddle point exists or not it's very easy to you so now here <coughs> i told you two class two we are discussing this one under the topic of what game without saddle point that's the reason here no need to check that because the topic is what without saddle point that's the reason we can go directly to find the value of the game to find the value of the game i told you you don't need to define in it for the two mark problem cases you are not going to define the strategies and all but the first problem i will explain the strategies in further the second and third and all directly you can find the value of the game and uh, if two mark questions comes if it is coming like in a csi or cases you must find the strategy some sometimes they may ask the strategy if more than two marks or more than one marks but if it is a one mark or two mark question uh, multiple choice questions comes only they may ask for the value of the game we only we are going to find so in the first uh, problem i will explain strategies and the value of the game both first you are going to find the what p1 p1 means what d minus d minus c d minus c means what 1 minus 4 denominator is always cross addition 2 plus 1 minus 5 plus 4 so now here will come minus what is here 1 minus 4 so minus 3 divided by 3 minus what 9 so that minus 3 by minus 6 this comes what 1 by 2 1 by 2 so we know the value of p1 to find the p2 what are going to do p2 equal to 1 minus p1 therefore 1 minus 1 by 2 equal to what again 1 by 2 after finding the p1 p2 you can write the strategy of a and next one we are going to find the what strategy of b for that you need what q1 q1 is d minus b so 1 minus 5 divided by here all the cases denominator will be the same here 3 minus 9 become what minus 6 therefore the denominator is always what minus 6 In this case is 1 minus 5 comes what minus 4 divided by minus 6 is nothing but 2 by 3 so now q1 you know through that you are going to find the what q2 what is q2 q2 is what 1 minus q1 therefore 1 minus 2 by 3 is what 1 by 3 so q2 value you know and p2 you know then p1 q1 so now you can write the strategy strategy of a a is what p1 comma p2 so 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 strategy of b is what 2 by 3 comma 1 by 3 this is the strategy of the player after finding the strategy you are going to determine the what game value game value what is game value here denominator same to all the cases denominator is not varying denominator is what we have minus 6 here numerator is what cross multiply numerator is cross multiply 2 into 1 2 into 1 2 minus 5 into 4 20 2 into 1 minus 5 into 4 divided by here same cross addition 2 plus 1 minus what we have 5 plus 4 if you're going to simplify this welcome 2 minus 
20 so minus 18 divided by minus 6 so that getting cancelled values what we the game value equal to 3 so now in this first problem only I explained everything what is strategy of A strategy of B and value of the game but this type of questions comes in examination we have to answer fast what is the value of the game in that cases to find the value of the game just you are going to use the last line alone this alone is more enough if the checking the strategies only we are going to find so strategy if they ask you can find if the value of the game comes directly go to the what last step through this you can find the value of the game now i'll explain this value of the game through another example if the saddle point what not exist so now we need only value of the game because saddle point how to find everything i explained the previous problem now i'm going to explain only how to find the value of the game value of the game game value value of the game game value game value v equal to what cross addition 6 plus 0 minus minus 3 minus 3 become what so minus 6 divided by now numerators multiply so numerators multiply 6 into 0 6 into 0 so that i will explain again here value of the game game value value of the what game numerators always multiply 6 into 0 6 into 0 what 0 and minus 3 minus 3 become plus 9 divided by that addition 6 plus 0 minus of minus 6 now here numerator is what minus 9 here 6 plus 6 12 so that the value of the game is what minus 3 by 4 this is answer for that then value of the game is what 3 by 4 the v is minus 3 by 4 so do remember that here what we did just numerator is multiply cross multiplication 6 into 0 minus minus 3 into minus in this now denominator is cross addition through that you are going to find the value of the game value of the game is minus 3 by 4 and for one more example the value of the game is without saddle point value of the game what is numerator is what multiply 5 into 4 20 why i'm explaining more than one example in these cases i told you in that cases of writing a multiple choice question in trb and csir i am repeating you that same tn psc relevant to that CSSC combined st statistical subordinate service exams in all the exams is one question comes minimum telling I'm one question from this game particularly in these problems okay now this problem one question is there that's the reason I'm more explaining more than one problems now numerator is what cross addition cross multiplication 5 into 4 minus 3 into 1 denominator is cross addition 5 plus 4 9 minus 3 plus 1 what 4 now minus 7, 17 plus 17 divided by 5 therefore that value of the game is what 17 by 5 similarly here value of the game is what cross numerator is always cross multiply 2 into 3 6 minus 7 into 5 35 divided by the same cross addition 2 plus 3 5 minus then 7 plus 5 12 here comes in this place of what 29 minus 29 by minus 7 minus minus will get cancelled therefore that the value of the game is what 29 by 7 so I think you are very clear that two cross two game without saddle point numerator is what cross multiplication AD minus BC 
divided by the same addition and numerator is multiplication the same the place of what the denominator cross addition so for examples is more enough i think you are very clear i'll go to the one next this topic continuation of this last one in this case in game theory is dominance property is a dominance dominating you know the meaning is very clear the name is very clear dominant dominating so now if more than two cross two this also coming in the case of what without saddle point or with the saddle point what comes dominance you can apply both the cases so now in particular the question comes using the use dominance we are going to use dominance only if it is not mentioned like this sir you can use saddle point that cases also you can use otherwise dominance okay choice is yours if it is mentioned you can use the same okay and so when the dominance cases comes which one is dominating row is dominating or column is dominating so you can't go like this when you have to in this dominance property in particular you can solve any order whether it's a 10 cross 10 matrices or uh, 20 cross 20 cross matrices any matrices any order of the matrices you can sign you can solve the problem of game in dominance property the dominance property uh, is very easiest one to apply the dominance property we have to follow the two rule the rule number one says row wise comparison here to reduce the very big matrices you are going to use the two things only row wise comparison and what column wise comparison the two things only you are going to use row wise comparison means one row with another row row 1 to row 2 or row 2 to row 3 or row 3 to row 4 you can compare any two rows in the given payoff matrix there is no rule at all we have to use all we have to compare only 1 and 2 row 1 and row 2 row 2 and row 3 there is no rule at all you can compare any row row 1 with row 10 or row 2 to row 3 but when you are, go, when you are going the row wise comparison you have to compare with row with row only not the column at the time of comparing column wise you can compare one column with another column so row wise is comparison of two rows only column wise is comparison of two columns only at the time of comparison you keep it in your mind you should remember this only one line in your mind to solve the problem under the dominance cases here at the time of comparison the row wise delete or remove which one less than or equal less than or equal or what inferior which one is inferior at the time of comparing the two rows which one is less than or sometimes may comes equal so that one you are going to remove less than part only you are going to remove or inferior only you are going to delete okay so which one is dominating not that one so inferior only you are going to remove in that cases less than or equal other at the same time comparison of column wise just opposite to that here less than but in this place you are going to remove the what greater than or equal who is dominating the dominate dominant ones you are going to remove from the problem delete the greater than or equal column at the time of comparison column wise row wise less than or equal in your mind you should keep these two things only what dominance property in game theory so now i will explain few problems for in dominance property row wise less than or equal column wise greater than or equal so now <clears throat> using dominance property if the problem is comes only in that case of for dominance sir if i'm using saddle point so you can check if it is not mentioned choice is yours but if it is mentioned you must use the dominance okay now you check that what row with row or column with column now you compare this first row one with row two minus five plus five this row two is combinating three five one four but in this place six who is dominating 20 is dominating so row one with row two is not possible you can go with row one with row three minus five minus four here it is dominating but here minus two three now it's not possible now you can go for what column wise now column wise here minus five three five five minus four minus two so here carefully this is dominating you can see here any bigger number or lesser number choices yours you see very carefully in this minus five three 
should be here. 5, 5. Here may come equal. Minus 4, minus 2. See here, 2 places C2 is dominating what? C1. Do remember, I am explaining again, again. I am repeating the same once again to you. Because, do remember that only I am explaining this here. See here, at the time of doing that column wise comparison, C2 is dominating C1. Sir, here one place comes equal, sir. If two places comes equal also, in one place anyone dominating, that one is superior. Okay, lesser part you can say inferior. Inferior only, you can see our column is superior. Greater you are going to remove. Column comes greater. Column wise, remember the case. Column. Column wise, which one you remove? Greater or equal. And row wise, you are going to remove what? Lesser or equal. So now, this is very important. One also, Le column wise comes what? Less than or equal. Column, uh, row wise comparison, less than or equal. And column wise comparison, greater than or equal. This portion you are going to remove. This alone you should keep in your mind. So now, here, row wise we checked, but not possible now. That's the reason we compared with the column wise. Minus 5, 3. So 3 is dominating. 5, 5 equal, no problem. But here, minus 4, minus 2. So now, here, C2 is dominating C1. C2 is dominating what? C1. So in column wise, we are using a what? We are removing a what? Greater. So now, this one we are going to remove. So that's the reason. The next one, you are getting what? 5 minus 5 1 20 5 4 6 minus 4 0 minus 5 so now here c1 c3 c4 r1 r2 r3 now in column wise comparison we remove that what we remove that C2 because C2 is dominating C1. Now we can check what row wise or column wise choice is yours. No rule at all. We have to go column 1 first row 2 second not. We can go what row wise also first. Now you see here row wise minus 4 minus 4 5 dominating 0 4 minus 5 6. Here row 2 is dominating row 3. Row 2 is what? dominating what row 3 so in column wise which one you have to remove lesser part we are going to remove the lesser one so that the next cases comes what will come minus 5 1 20 and 5 4 6 here 1 20 4 6 this is what in this case so now compare that column wise c1 c3 c4 here r1 and what r2 so now c4 is dominating c3 c4 is dominating what c3 therefore we are removing what c4 this we are going to remove from the problem so you are getting that the reduced matrix is what? Minus 5, 1, 5, 4. Now, <coughs> again you are going to check that. Who is dominating here? That one can compare. Minus 5, 4, 1, 4. Here, row 1, row 2. Row 2 is dominating row 1. Row 2 is dominating what row one so which one we have to remove whenever the row comes what lesser part you are going to remove you are going to remove the row one so row one is a deleted so at the time of deleting the row one you are getting the last one is what now last one is after remove the reduced matrix comes what five four this is what row two now here C1, C3, C1, 
C3. Now we can apply dominance, you can apply the dominance end of the problem. C1 is dominating C3. C1 is dominating what? C3. So in column wise, which one going to remove? Greater. So now you are getting what? Last one is what? Only one. Single. One cross one. C3 R2. Now R2 C3. This is the one you are getting. So now if this comes, we are going to, now here this comes mixed strategy cases. We are going to define the strategy of the player also. Now at the time of writing the strategy, strategy of A, who is contributing to get the value of 4? This is the game value. To in this uh, given problem, row 2 alone contributing to get the value of the game. Thus reason we are allotting that what strategy to the row 2 only. At the time of writing the strategy of A, you can write the strategy like this only. 0, what we uh, are giving that value of the game for? R2. For him alone, you are allotting value of the game. Uh, remaining 2 are getting cancelled. We have initially 3 players. In the problem starts with the 3 players. But row 1, row 2 is getting deleted. Row 1, row 3 is getting deleted. Row 2 alone contributing. Row 1, row 3 is what? Deleted from the game. So, row 2 alone contributing. Here, Four players are that C1, C2, C3, C4. But among those four players, only C3 alone contributing to get the value of the game. Thus, reason we are allotting the strategy of A only R2 and the strategy of B also. We are going to allot what among the four players. C1 is removed, C2 is removed from the problem. C1 alone contributing. That's the reason we are allotting that. Strategies only strategy of A for the R2, strategy of B for the C3. And what is the value of the game here? Game value. Game value. Game value we are representing always by using letter of B. The game value is what? 4. So now, so now here at the time of applying the dominant, we are going to remove, we are going to remove only what? Greater part in column, lesser part in row comes equal so it is also what applicable so only greater sir no equal comes also applicable that's the reason i told you i explained the dominance column wise greater or equal superior or equal row wise inferior or equal this point alone you keep in mind the continuation of this dominance property i will explain the last one more problem in this to understand the concept of dominance so now here at the time of applying the dominance we are going to compare with the row wise and what column row with the row column with the column row wise comparison and what column wise comparison c1 c2 c3 c4 so now when you're going to compare the row you can compare one row with another row any one r1 with r2 or r2 with r3 now here 1 5 7 6 no 1 5 is okay but 5 is dominating but in this case is 6 7 so row 1 with the row 2 is not possible but you check in the row 1 with the row 3 1 7 but here 7 2 so now row 1 with the row 3 is not possible so we can compare row, what row 2 with row 3 is possible now here 5 7 but here what 6 2 now in this cases initially row is not possible you can go to the column c1 with the c2 here 1 7 5 6 but in this place 7 2 all the three elements should be dominating now yeah this one is coming less so now you can see that next one 3 7 4 6 3 7 good 6 4 good 0 2 good here c2 is dominating c3 c2 is dominating c2 is dominating what c3 now when you are going to do that column wise comparison which one we have to remove here greater one we are going to remove this one we are going to remove from the problem so the reason that uh, after getting the deletion of c2 we are getting the value is what 1 3 4 5 4 5 7 0 3 in this reduced matrix row 1, row 2, row 3, C1, C3 and what? C4. Here also you are going to apply that column wise or row wise. Now here 5, 1. 5 is dominating. 3, 
4 4 is dominating 4 5 row 2 is dominating row 2 is dominating what row 1 now in row wise which one we are going to remove that lesser one we are going to remove so that that reduced matrix will be in the form what will reduce matrix in the form 5 4 5 7 0 3 R1 is removed, therefore R2, R3, C1, C2, C3. Now you can apply the column wise check now. 5, 5. In two places may be equal. But 3, 7. C1 is dominating. C3 and 5, 4, 5, 0, 7. C1 is dominating what? C2 and C3 both. So we are going to compare the column wise which one we have to remove the greater part we are going to remove. Therefore C1 and C3 both we are going to remove both we are going to delete from the problem column wise means greater. So that you are getting the value is what 4 0 this is R2 R3 and what C2. Now you can apply the row wise 4 0 so that R2 is dominating R3. Now when row wise which one you are going to remove lesser therefore you are getting the value is what 4. So that in this case is what R2 and what C2. In the team of A only R2 is contributing to the value of what 4. In the team of B, C2 is only contributing to the value of 4. So you can apply the strategy of A. Strategy of A is what? 0, 1, 0. Why we are allocating the 1 to the R2? R2 only contributing to get the final score, the game value in team A. Similarly, in team B, to get the game value, only C2 alone contributing. Therefore, you are allocating the what? Strategy to C2 only. 0, 1, 0, 0. After finding the strategy, your aim is to find the game value. The game value. What is the game value? We have it is what? This is game value. So now I explained two problems the dominance. So you are important point the dominance column wise comparison greater, superior, or equal. Row wise comparison less than or lesser or inferior or equal. These two points only you keep in mind. So important problems I discussed and in the next session I will explain that important questions, the repeated questions they asked in this what or uh, in all the chapters. Thank you friends. Shortly we will meet in the next video.